dreams, why not? My biggest dream is to ignite the dreams and impact the lives of over one million youth across Africa to be successful in the pursuit of their own dreams, their businesses, or their careers. And for a very long time, over 10 years, I have been thinking what success is. We all have issues with our educational system and there, had been, there has been a presentation on the state of our education, which is the same 50 years ago. But one thing that the educational system of Ghana gave me is a degree in mathematics. And in my thoughts and research about success, one of the things I came up with was a formula for success. And today I'm going to share this formula with you. So for everyone that desires success, which I believe is all of you, because no one wants to be a failure, you are going to see what the elements are that will lead to that phenomenal success that you desire. So if you'll indulge me, I'll take you through this, my amazing formula, because it's tested. And as you can see, I look successful, don't I? I think so. <laughs> so we're going to start. The first thing that you need to be aware in my success formula, in the first awareness, the first element is awareness. Awareness. What does success mean to you? Because success is personal. What one has or does or is that you would call successful, another might not call successful. And when you're aware that success is personal, the way you go about it is different. Now, in awareness, there are four things that I want you to be aware of. Forgive my tautology. But the first is our unique identity as Africans. There are a lot of complaints about African, Africanism, and all those things, but what makes us Africa, Africans is what makes us different from the rest of the world. So I want you to be aware of your unique identity as Africans. The second thing I need you to be aware of is that you are in the greatest continent in the world. The greatest continent, believe it or not. But you and I are privileged to be in Africa. The third thing I need you to be aware of is that Africa, Africa's greatest asset is its human capital, you and I. It's no more the natural resources that are being depleted. It's no more the things that we complain about. But Africa's greatest asset is you and I. And the fourth thing is that you are the most important person in the world. Four things I need you to be aware of, and that's the first element of my success formula. Now, to change a person, you need to change his perception of himself or herself. And if you want to be successful, the first thing you need to know is awareness. Now, beyond awareness, you go to knowledge. So in my success formula, the first is A plus K. Knowledge is to know. When you are aware of where you are, the environment you, you, you grew in, the education that you got, and all the things you've been exposed to, and you realize that there is a deficiency, the, first, the second thing that you need to be, to be attentive of is knowledge. The acquisition of know-how. What do you need to have to be who you want to be? But beyond knowledge, you build skills. And that's one of the things that is missing in our educational system. The ability to do. How do you translate the knowledge you've acquired into things that you can do practically, applied knowledge? And that is skill. And that's A plus K plus S. Now, the next one is expertise or experience. And this is the application of your skill set over time. And that's what the marketplace pays for. And that's one of my challenges with young graduates and young, young people. When they start a job, they want to be paid the biggest amounts. They want to be paid the biggest salary. And I have been an entrepreneur all my life. And one of the challenges I've faced is with people who think that they deserve something because they have a paper. And that's sad, but you see, the world is essentially a marketplace. Africa is essentially a marketplace. And they pay top whatever currency for expertise. What have you done over time that makes you the best at it? And I always use this analogy. Nobody knows or cares about the vice president until the president is not available. It means that when you're first, money looks for you. So focus on 
building your skill set, applying it over time, and build expertise. And that is the fourth element in my success formula. The fifth one is one, one that a lot of people might have a problem with because they say it leads to corruption. Who you know? Networks. Now, in this day and age, it is not about who you know anymore. It's about who knows you and what do they know about you. Fortunately, we have social media, so um, branding yourself and putting yourself out there is, is, is not difficult anymore. But what do they know about you? Each one of us sitting here has what we call a digital footprint. Things that people read about you consistently every day. And those things that you put out there are the things that essentially make you. So when opportunities are all over the place looking for people, they are identifying people that are building their brand with something that the world would exchange whatever they need for, essentially your networks. So focus on building a very good network. Now, divide all this thing over time. And all of you remember, if more, if less. Now, when you, when you want success and you want it in, in, in huge capacity, one of the things that you have to be mindful of that all these things are divided by time. How fast you are matters. Because the things that we cherish yesterday, today are obsolete. I'm sure some of you bought computers that you can't even use today. I'm sure some of you bought phones that you can't use today. The world is moving at such a fast pace that if you are not quick in your pursuit of your dreams, you are not quick in the pursuit of the things that you want to do, you realize that over time they become obsolete. So A plus K plus S plus E plus N divided over time. Now multiply all that by health. You are aware of who you are. You have knowledge of what you want to do. You have the skill sets and the ability to do. Okay? You've built expertise over time. You are well connected. And you've done this quickly because now you're 25 years old, 60 years old, whatever. But then you are sick because you didn't pay attention to your health. Essentially, that is the reason why health is multiplied by all that because none of that matters if you're sick. And that's why you need to take and pay particular attention to your health. Now, multiply that by ethics. One of the major subjects in Africa, corruption. Now, when you want success to be sustainable, success to be transferable, one of the major issues in Africa is that the success that our predecessors chalk, they are not able to transfer it because there are lots of things that they do which they cannot openly talk about because we are weak. Our moral compass is weak. And when you want to be successful and you want it to be transferable, you want it to be transgenerational, you want it to be transformational, one of the things that you need to pay particular attention to is ethics. And when you put all that together, what do you have? My success formula. Now, as you sit there, think about this formula very well. And I like people to punch holes and then try and prove me wrong. Because it works, no matter the situation. And I use one of the things that people might always, you know, talk about marriage or relationship. Let's just say you are having a challenge in your relationship and a commencer has given you this formula. How do you apply this formula to your relationship? Be aware of what the problem is. Build knowledge on how to treat your woman right. Build knowledge on how to treat your, your, your husband right. This knowledge that you build, apply it consistently over time. And you realize that in building in applying it over time, you build expertise. So now when she talks, you listen. Okay? And then all the challenges you're facing in your marriage, now you have experience. So even though it doesn't come to you easily, you've practiced that skill over time so much that now there is peace in your home because you are applying the skill over time. And now it makes you an expert in marriage. And now be around people that are able to encourage you. Not people that are going to punch all the negatives in your home. But do this quickly before someone steals your wife. And when you have health and you have a moral ethics, you're not going out there to cheat. And when you put all this together, you're going to have a beautiful home. Bring it to Africa. Bring it to Africa. We are aware that we are in a dark continent, but who named it that way? We don't have an African television that is telling the African story. So awareness about Africa is myopic, is negative. Now, if you want Africa to be the continent we desire it to be, we have to control our awareness, build our knowledge, build our skill set, practice and be, be, be focused on what makes us different, what makes us unique, what we can take to the global marketplace and exchange for whatever we want. 
network with the right development partners over time because it is important. And then ensure that the health of Africa is solid. And then the moral ethics of Africa is intact. And definitely, we are going to be successful. Thank you very much. <laughs>